This is a quick modding tutorial. In this episode, I'll show how to use the mapping tool called Trench Boom. If you haven't installed Trench Boom, there's a download link in the description. And once you have installed it, or if you've installed it already, then you can follow the rest of this. Okay, now that you installed it, and everything other than this one step will be the same on Windows or Mac. And on Windows, you're going to have to find the shortcut or the exe, little trenchboom.exe or whatever. On Mac, you're going to have to go to Applications, and then down here, click Trench Boom. Once it has started, this window will not appear. You're going to have to click on Trench Boom, File, New, and that will open up this window. If you have a Quake installed, and it's in the Applications Quake folder on a Mac, or wherever the default is for Trench Boom on a Windows computer, then these things should show up. If they don't, then the Quake path is not specified correctly. Find the folder that your ID1 folder and your launcher for Dark Places or normal Quake Engine or whatever is in, and that is your Quake uh, folder. Go to Preferences, Quake Path, click Choose, and then you tell it the folder. And you close that, and you should have all these. If you don't, restart the application, and you should have them. Now to onto the actual mapping. First, you need to hold the left mouse key and then move your mouse to create this object. I'm going to go to edit, cut that object to get rid of it. Now you left click to highlight it, then hold down left shift and that will allow you to highlight one side, only the sides that are viewable or at least one corner is. Then you left click and hold both buttons down and then you drag the mouse to expand that side or shrink it. You can also use the uh, Alt key in the left mouse button to move up and down the highlighted uh, object or place or whatever. You can also use the left mouse button to move the object uh, that's highlighted around. You can use the middle button uh, to pan the screen around like this which you'll need to do a lot. You can also scroll with the middle mouse button thingy. Now I'm going to make this area bigger. I'm going to add a player by clicking with the left mouse button and dragging the player over here and letting go. I'm going to add a mm, armor. Do the same thing, holding down the left mouse button and dragging and then letting go. Now say it was right here, halfway in the little ceiling or floor or whatever. You'll just hold down the Alt button and then move it up. And that's good. Also, if you want to do stairs, you can, or add another wall or something, you can just click out over here so nothing is highlighted. Put your mouse where you want one of the edges to be. And then click and drag. If it's not exactly, then just hold down left shift and get it however you want. And then uh, for stairs, I'm going to have that highlighted and then click copy and paste at original location. Then I'm going to pan around, use the alt, pull it down, and then move it. Now, if your mouse isn't very good for moving things with just left click, then what you can also do, see like that, that's not quite right, that's not how I want it. You can hold down the left shift, expand, then go over here, left shift, detract. That's good. Now that's just one step, but that's enough to show you. I'm going to add walls. I'm going to click outside here. Oops. To get rid of something, you can either do undo, or you can cut or delete. I'm going to cut. And now I'm going to add this wall. I'm going to use left shift to make it taller. Now, since I want both the walls to be the same height, I'm going to copy and paste. Oh, but that puts that over here. That's not where I want it, so I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to click Paste at Original Location, and that has it inside the original wall. Now, 
I'm going to hold down shift, move it over here, hold down shift, detract it, and then I'm going to pan around. And now I'm going to click outside and click, drag, then let go. Hold on the left shift. Get this as high as the other two walls. Now I'm going to add a ceiling. And do the same thing as the walls. Now you got a ceiling. That's good enough. I'm going to click outside here. I'm going to click File, Save As. And then I shall tell it the name of the file I want to save as. Or just leave unnamed whatever. I'm going to save that. And then you're done. Well, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show how to compile your map that you've just made into a format that Quake can run and actually get into the game. Goodbye.